What's up, people? Did you guys ever play Need for Speed? I used to love this game. I used to love Need for Speed. Chasing, or getting chased by cops. Chasing other people with cops. Uh, I love this game, so... This new one just came out. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted just came out on Tuesday. So I figured I would go rent it and give it a try. Uh, don't expect to make any series or anything like that, but I figured I would just put this up just so you guys could check it out too if you guys were interested at all in need for speed most wanted you can get a little uh sneak peek here and decide if you want to pick it up or go rent it or try it out or whatever but basically the premise of this game from what i can tell so far i've only played it maybe for about an hour or so uh you basically drive around this city like you do in every other need for speed uh, but this time, instead of having a garage that you would just store your cars or whatever, there's cars just parked all around randomly over the city, and you just go and find them. So if you look on the mini-map over there, on the uh, bottom right-hand side, actually, that's the bottom left-hand side, my apologies. <laughs> uh, if you look over there on the mini-map, there will be like little steering wheels, you know, scattered across the, the map. And uh, if you go to those steering wheels, You'll find a brand new car that you can just drive up to next to and hit the triangle button and you will get in that car. Uh, and then eventually, well basically then once you get that car, uh, you'll have a set of uh, goals that you want to accomplish with that car. Uh, different races that you can race in with that car. And uh, if you win races or take second place or whatnot, uh, you'll earn credits that allow you to uh, race the big boys. <laughs> So uh, there's some special cars that you can only get by getting enough of your credit to uh, go and challenge those guys to a race. Uh, but then also, if you win races, you earn upgrades for your current car. So there's tons and tons and tons of uh, stuff that you can get done as far as uh, the amount of cars and the amount of upgrades that you can get with each car. Each car has its own set of races, its own set of goals. Uh, for example, this car, I believe if you um, drift for like a certain amount of distance, like overall, then you get uh, you get some upgrades and stuff like that. So, on top of just the race themselves that gives you upgrades, there's also different uh, different like milestones that you can accomplish to get more credit and upgrade your car. So. I kind of like some of those aspects. I kind of like the way the old one was set up, though, more. Where you would just basically, you could buy different cars. You would start off with a slower car. You'd have to work your way through races to earn money. And then um, you move on to uh, bigger and better cars once you have enough money to buy them. Uh, I kind of like that aspect better than this one. This one, you just basically drive around and you can find whatever the fastest car is. And then just keep working on that one to get it completely souped up uh, so I, I like the aspect of the previous games where you actually had to race to earn more money to be able to unlock those fast cars now basically you just drive around and find one so uh, some of that stuff kind of sucks I haven't played online yet I really do want to try that and see what that's all about uh, I'm assuming it's just online races but it would be cool if you could just go into a city like this where there's other online people and you could just drive around and, and goof around and get chased by cops and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty fun. So I'll have to try to give that one a go. But I basically just rented this game until next Tuesday when Halo comes out. And I'm going to rent Halo with that. <laughs> and then the following week is Black Ops. So more than likely this will get played for another three or four days. And then uh, probably won't play it again. <laughs> Racing games to me just don't have a ton of replayability. Now clearly they have replayability because you're constantly doing different type of races and you're upgrading all these different cars, but once you uh, do it for about a couple hours, to me it just it, it seems to lose a lot of its uh, luster. Especially this game. The previous games, like I said, when you start off with a really slow and crappy car and then have to work your way up to get newer cars, it felt like you were accomplishing something. In this one, it just doesn't feel like I'm accomplishing much. Um, like I said, if I pick up a slow car, I can just drive around until I find a faster car and then go race that one. So, to me, 
this one has lost lost some of that luster that made it fun that that road to the show that my player type of uh, gameplay feeling that you get when you finally earn up enough points to unlock something new or to finally get that upgrade you've been dying for on your car it seems to have lost a lot of that stuff because of the way they and you can see here there's a car just sitting here I drive up to it hit the triangle button boom now I'm driving in a Austin Villa or Austin Martin why does it Austin Villa that's like a freaking football soccer team <laughs> but uh, there's also these cars that drive around like this one that I beat in a race they're called like legendary cars or something like that so if you beat them in a race you uh, earn the ability to unlock that car but you have to take that car out so I have to go around chase this guy around and try to smash into him until his car is disabled and then it unlocks that car for me to be able to drive so I guess you do get some of that in there the more VC you earn not VC this isn't my player <laughs> but the more coins or money or whatever you get um, you can start unlocking these legendary cars and then you have to race them and beat them and then take them out like this BAM! so I take that car out and now I can pick up a Shelby Cobra 427 around the map I can also there's a little menu at the top now that you can go to that basically will set up GPS to go to your races or you can go to your cars that you've already driven and uh, it'll take you to those cars and then boom now I'm in a Cobra so let me know in the comments below if you guys have played this game or if you played any Need for Speed what you think of racing games as a whole and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if not don't worry cuz I'm sure I'll have basketball or something up tomorrow <laughs> alright guys talk to you later what it takes to get there. <laughs>